So is it root or route? Comment below. In 1946, both Nat King Cole and Chuck Berry recorded Get Your Kicks on Route 66. So unless you guys say otherwise, we'll go with Route. The Eagles and their iconic music, Taking It Easy, Hotel California, Witchy Woman, and A Horse With No Name, and so many more, bring back unbelievably great memories from college at the U of A. Yep, a wildcat. Just so many amazing times in the 70s. The Standing on the Corner Park in Winslow, Arizona opened in 1999, commemorating the song Take It Easy written by Jackson Brown and Glenn Fry and recorded by the Eagles. There are two-story murals by John Pugh, a flatbed truck, and what are believed to be statues of Brown and Fry. Unfortunately for Winslow, the newer I-40 bypassed the town which Route 66 runs right through. The song created a, so to say, renaissance of Winslow, even though a fire there destroyed the actual building. But that one wall still stood, and a park replaced the rest. In 2016, Glenn Fry died, and a statue in his likeness was erected there. If you like history and have ever or ever wanted to travel Route 66, don't wait. Get out and go. Many of these similar communities really depend on your tourism to survive, and they are an amazing piece of Americana. So we were crossing the street, Route 66, when we heard a young lady call out, Hey, put me in your vlog. <laughs> she was sitting with a few of her friends, so of course I shouted back, Absolutely. They must have thought that I was spoofing them because we kept going to get our video clips and selfies, and they went back to talking and giggling with each other. To their surprise, when we were finished, we beelined it for them camera running. <laughs> They looked stunned and surprised, but recovered quickly. Now, to our newest friends and residents of this iconic destination along Route 66, here is your impromptu interview and shout out. You said you wanted to be in the vlog. <laughs> this is us. Travel, okay. Our license to travel. Our last name is License. We travel around the country and make videos of everything that we see. Oh, that's cool. That's okay. good. All right. You're you guys, live right now? You're live right now. What's up? <laughs> we in Winslow, Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you uh, guys have your own vlog? Um, no. Uh, uh, you guys want to add us on Snap? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got my Snapchat. My, my Snap is um, Beltron underscore Isis. Okay. Me. Will do. Thank you. Thanks. To your newest rising YouTube stars, we sure hope you get your channels up and running and brag on your very interesting piece of American history. So glad to have met you. We popped into many of the Eagles themed shops around that corner and even met another Morky. Oh, Morky. Morky? Morky? Morky. 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 So is that a Morky? Yeah. yeah. See, but mine, this, this, this is, is more like a Yorkie. This yeah. guy, you know? Come on! Eventually, we loaded back up to try and get in one more venue while we were here. This one is the Petrified National Park on I-40 about halfway between Holbrook and Chambers. Made a stop at the visitor center and used our national park pass to get in. Man, this pass is quite a deal. And if you're over 65, it's a lifetime pass, not yearly. It has paid for itself many times over. We drove the full length of the park, which includes large swaths of the Painted Desert, stopping at as many pullouts as possible.
one was an intersect of the old 66 and memorialized with some different art. One was a mostly there old Studebaker and the other, well, can you name that car from just the front grill and bumper? Comment below. Give up? Well, it's a 1957 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. We ended the drive and tour of the park just before Route 180 and which would be our way back to the RV at the Meteor Crater RV Park. What an amazing day, but wait, there's more. Next week, we'll be visiting another first for me. Any guesses? Stick around and find out. I think you'll agree this next place is pretty grand. This has been a long day just to do some driving. Right now, we're somewhere in the uh, Petrified Forest Painted Desert area. We've stopped for Shelly to get some stamps for her uh, Passport America book. And then we've got another 70 miles of driving just to get back to the park. We've had a pretty good day though. We were able to see an awful lot of different things. We went to stand on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. We also took a drive into uh, a few other little parks in the area. I mean, a lot of fun, a lot of things to do. Worked out pretty well for us. As soon as she gets back, we're gonna try and see if we can find something to eat and then we're on our way back to the park and off to the Grand Canyon tomorrow. Oh yeah, one other thing I forgot, we've still got to get fuel too. Half a tank. Don't like letting it get that low. See you guys again next Sunday at 5 p.m. Arizona time. For now, we are Chris, Shelley, and Grizz. Please, travel safe.